So much attention on Washington. Not a lot of people have talked about who succeeds Texas House Speaker Dennis Bonin here. We're about to enter a new year with Bonin as a lame duck speaker who refuses to step aside. Maybe discussion hasn't happened because Republicans are not entirely sure if they will have a majority after November. But reporters would love to go ahead and write the next chapter, including Ross Ramsey, the co-founder and executive editor of the Texas Tribune. Good morning, Ross. Good morning, Jason. How are you? Doing well. You know, why isn't anyone talking about this? You know, someone lining up to succeed Bonin? You know, it's interesting. Usually when a speaker falls or, to, or says, as in this case, he's not going to run again, there's a crowd. There was a crowd a year ago and Dennis Bonin won the race. But this time there's a lot of uncertainty around this. Bonin hasn't gone anywhere and people are looking over their shoulder at him. As you mentioned, the Democrats are trying to win a majority in the House, which would switch the party of the speaker. And a lot of people don't want to stick their heads up too early and um, get them cut off. <laughs> it still may be too early on that. You know, we haven't even rung in the new year yet, but you bring up a good point. Is it too early to talk about 2022? Seems like forever from now, but who are the Texans you're already watching and right. why? Well, I know this drives people crazy, but you know, if you're planning a political race, you plan it way ahead. You try to start raising a bunch of money before you get to the race. Sometimes if you raise enough money, you can scare everybody else out. And if you're looking to run for governor or lieutenant governor or any of the high offices in Texas in 2022, now's when you start doing your planning. There's a kind of a pent up demand with a bunch of Republicans who are gently waiting for Greg Abbott and Dan Patrick, the governor and lieutenant governor, to move on. That includes all the statewide officials from Ken Paxton to George Bush to Glenn Hager. And uh, that kind of talk is slowly making its way around Austin now. Wow, it is never ending. Ross, thanks. Back to you in a moment.